Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the remarks from my colleague from Hamtramck and the passion that he brings to this discussion, because as we have stated before, our budget represents our priorities. As I look at this conference report and what we're being asked to vote on today, I recognize some key differences between the revised gubernatorial recommendation and the bills that we have in front of us and the bills as they've moved through time. One of the key parts that we look at in funding in this budget is the idea that there has been a shift in policy to review it from review, um, from file and approve to review and approve. That has a 90 day time limit on that. The recommendation to add 12 new FTEs um, who would be able to administer the changes coming before us with auto rates, those 12 new FTEs will ensure that consumers are going down, ensure we have consumer protection and education, and ensure that with the review and approve, there's a 90-day time limit that rates were actually reviewed and improved. That was not funded, and it's critical to the implementation of the bill in this budget report. There also were four F new FTEs recommended for DIFs that were not included in this budget. These statutory reviews, again, are critical to ensuring that when my son comes home from college in November and sits in my car uh, as a resident no longer of Michigan, um, and we're driving, if we get in an accident, my insurance will not cover him. He needs to know that. He needs to know that, and it's critical in this budget that we recognize that we need consumer protection, education around that. Because I tell you, the terror of my life would be us having an accident, him being injured, and then him being forced to sue me to be able to be cared for. So I recommend my colleagues vote no on the budget. It's the status quo of an insurance system that we all agreed was unacceptable, and it refuses to fund the priorities that we said we must have, which is guaranteeing lower rates, educating our consumers, and ensuring that all of our rates go down. I urge my colleagues to vote no on this budget. Thank you.